What is going on, MMA fans and full-time family? Recently, Habib Nurmagomedov's manager came out and said that Saudi Arabia was offering $100 million to host the Khabib vs. McGregor rematch. Khabib is coming out and responding to this, and he's wondering, why would anybody pay that amount of money to watch me do what we know is going to happen? Who would pay $100 million to see what they just saw? You know the Saudi Arabians are not paying $100 million to watch Conor McGregor get the upset. No, they're paying to watch Khabib smash this guy again. And you can just go to UFC Fight Pass. I'm sure you can find it online. And you can watch the rematch. Khabib Nurmagomedov won every second of that fight. I mean, there's some people, delusional in my mind, that believe Conor McGregor won one of those rounds or two of those rounds. But honestly, in that fight, Conor McGregor got embarrassed. Khabib Nurmagomedov dropped... You know, it's one thing if Khabib just takes you down and hold you down and makes you tap, that's already, you know, he's already making you quit and winning the fight. But it's another thing whenever the grappler, Khabib Nurmagomedov, the Sambo expert, drops you with the right hand. He's not known for his striking at all, and he dropped Conor McGregor. That was the embarrassing part. So it's like, where does McGregor beat Khabib? In the shoulder strike department, I guess? He opened for a clinch. He opened he can bust Khabib's face up with some a few shoulder shrugs, shoulder strikes. Khabib's not the type to quit a fight. I'm not saying cowboy quit, but Khabib's not the type to even second guess a fight. If his nose is broken, his orbital's broken, we've never even seen that. So with that being said, I don't see that happening to Khabib Nurmagomedov, and I don't think these Saudi Arabians see it either, that are offering $100 million. But Khabib believes they're offering this much money because they are just wanting to continue the festivities, which might make sense. If you recall, Khabib Nurmagomedov's last fight, I believe, against Dustin Poirier was in Abu Dhabi, and I heard the UFC had maybe some four- or five-year deal, maybe three years. For a certain amount of time, they've got to keep returning to Abu Dhabi every year. Now, is it going to be all of Khabib's fight? Possibly. But shit, if the UFC gets a $100 million bid from Saudi Arabia to host Khabib's next fight, they might have to put Zabit over in Abu Dhabi next year, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> That's a lot of money. On top of the already pay-per-view money that you're going to bring in, on top of everything, the money the UFC already brings in, add $100 million to that? Now, I don't know how they split it up, right? Does, did, does Khabib and Connor get any of that? I'm sure Khabib's got to get a percent, something. But that's another topic for another day. Either way, Khabib is questioning this supposed um, bid. And he's saying, why? Why is this fight worth that much? This guy doesn't even deserve to fight me again, and you're willing to pay me $100 million? So, hey, man, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think should be next for Khabib and Merkel Madoff. Do you think Khabib, well, of course, he's got Tony Ferguson, if Khabib should get through Tony Ferguson, do you think he should give McGregor the rematch? Or do you think McGregor should have to fight one more time before getting the Khabib rematch? That being said, man, it is what it is. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out.